good morning students you are already yesterday you start with mechanism of the muscle contraction today continue that one mechanism of the muscle contraction during the mechanism muscle contraction what is the eighth step charismas bind with troponin c the tropomyosin and troponin complex move forward the active site of the actin is exposed what is it na the calcium ions bind with the troponin c the tropomyosin and the troponin complex so move forward the active site of the actin is exposed whenever the active site of the actin is exposed now atp binding site of the myosin atp binding site of the myosin atp binding site of the myosin ATP binding site of the myosin. It is going to stop. ATP is enzyme. This ATP is enzyme participated into the ATP react with water molecule. It is converted into the ADP plus energy plus plus energy. In the presence of magnesium ions, this energy utilized for the two important process. See here. What are the two important process? The first important process. acting bind with the myosin add it is the formation of the cross bridge formation cross bridge formation what is the meaning of cross bridge formation acting filaments the acting filaments interact with the myosin it is known as a cross bridge formation they require some amount of energy this energy is provided by the myosin add it is going to stop atp is enzyme it is going to stop atp is enzyme And also, 50 percent is the remaining energy. It is utilized for the power stroke. The power, what is the meaning of power stroke? Rotation of the myosin head. The myosin head move towards to the edge zone. It is known as a power stroke. This rotation of the head also require some amount of energy. What is the meaning of cross bridge formation? The acting binds with the myosin head. It is known as a cross bridge formation. What is the meaning of cross bridge formation? the myosin add the myosin add the myosin add it is bind with it is bind with acting filaments it is bind with acting filaments the cross bridge formation what is the meaning of cross bridge formation the acting filaments acting filaments acting filaments acting filaments it is a myosin it is nothing but actin the actin binds with the myosin head it is known as a cross bridge formation the cross bridge formation it is a cross bridge formation the 50 percentage of energy required for the cross bridge formation the remaining 50 percentage is required for the power stroke this power stroke the rotation of the head during the muscle contraction during the muscle contraction we can explain based on the diagram this entire mechanism it is explained on the based on the diagram this entire steps this entire 10 steps you can explain with the help of the diagram with the help of the diagram this entire steps explain with the help of the diagram with the help of the diagram see here with the help of the diagram mechanism of the muscle contraction the mechanism of the muscle contraction you can understand based on the based on the with the help of diagram with the help of diagram what is the first step the mechanism of, what is the first step what is the mechanism of muscle contraction first step the mechanism of muscle contraction is initiated by the central nervous system the central nervous system the mechanism of muscle contraction is initiated by the central nervous system the central nervous system send the message send the message to the muscle fiber with the help of the central nervous system send the message with the help of the central nervous system message they will send with the help of motor neurons the central nervous system they will send messages the central nervous system 
they will send message to the the central nervous system they will send message to the the central nervous system they will send message to the motor neuron motor neuron what is the first step the central nervous system the mechanism of muscle contraction is initiated by the central nervous system brain it is a, it is consist of group of neurons it is a nervous tissue it is a nervous group of neurons the group of neurons motor neurons this motor neurons they will send message central nervous system to the muscle fibers central nervous system to the muscle fibers central nervous system to the muscle fibers the central nervous system to the muscle fibers they will send message to the central nervous system to the muscle fibers the central nervous system to the muscle fibers they will send message to the muscle fibers to the they will send message see here the muscle fiber always it is in the form of cylindrical form it is a muscle muscle fiber or muscle cell muscle fiber or muscle cell it is a motor neuron motor neuron the junction between the motor neuron and the junction between the motor neuron and this muscle fiber the junction between the motor neuron and this muscle fiber it is nothing but sarcolemma sarcolemma it is a plasma membrane of the plasma membrane of the muscle cell the junction between the the junction between the the junction between the motor neuron and muscle fiber or muscle cell it is known as a neuromuscular junction what is the junction neuro muscular neuro muscular junction neuro muscular junction this neuro muscular junction are also known as motor and plate motor and plate this motor neurons contact with the motor neurons contact with muscle fiber the motor neuron contact with the muscle fiber it is known as a motor unit the muscle the motor neuron it is contact with the motor neuron contact with the muscle fiber motor neuron motor neuron motor neuron contact with the, contact with the muscle fiber or sarcolemma this contact it is known as a motor unit motor unit what is a motor unit motor neurons contact with the sarcolemma of the muscle fiber or sarcolemma of the the sarcolemma of the muscle fiber or sarcolemma of the plasma membrane of the muscle cell is known as a motor unit motor unit what is the neuromuscular junction this motor unit this motor neurons the junction between the the junction between the motor neurons and the muscle fiber or muscle cell it is known as a neuromuscular junction this neuromuscular junction are also known as a motor and a plate motor and a plate okay motor and a plate if you observe the motor neuron diagram if you observe the motor neuron diagram this neurons it is going to stop dendrites what is this one dendrites what is the this one dendrites motor neurons can stop dendrites it is nothing but axon it is nothing but axon it is nothing but it is second part is known as a axon the third part of the motor neuron it is known as a it is known as a synaptic nerve what is the third part synaptic nerve synaptic nerve what is the third part synaptic nerve this it is also known as a axon terminal what is this one axon terminal axon terminal axon terminal this synaptic nerve it is consist of synaptic vesicles synaptic vesicles the synaptic nerves filled with 
synaptic nodes are filled with synaptic nodes are filled with synaptic vesicles synaptic vesicles synaptic vesicles okay it is nothing but see synaptic vesicles this synaptic vesicles it is nothing but pre synaptic membrane pre synaptic membrane pre synaptic membrane it is nothing but post synaptic membrane post synaptic membrane it is nothing but post post synaptic post synaptic membrane post synaptic membrane okay between the pre synaptic and post synaptic membrane this gap the post synaptic and pre synaptic membrane this gap is nothing but synaptic cleft synaptic cleft you know synaptic cleft synaptic cleft first one pre synaptic membrane the second one it is known as a synaptic cleft the third one is known as a post synaptic membrane the post synaptic membrane okay come to the here the synaptic nerve it is filled with the synaptic vesicles it is consist of synaptic vesicles this synaptic vesicles are filled with the neurotransmitters 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 what is example for the neurotransmitters acetylcholine acetylcholine neurotransmitter acetylcholine whenever the central nervous system send the message to the send the message to the motor neuron the motor neuron receive signal from the central nervous system they will generate action potential this action potential reaches to the axon terminal whenever the action potential reaches to the axon terminal this axon terminal is consist of synaptic nodes this synaptic nodes are consist of synaptic vesicles this synaptic vesicles are filled with neurotransmitters whenever the synaptic vesicles receive information from the information from the calcium ions see here observation of the this synaptic vesicles each synaptic vesicles it is consist of the calcium channels what are the channels calcium channels this calcium channels are enter into the synaptic synaptic they enter the calcium and the calcium channels are open whenever the calcium channels are open it is activation of the it is activation of the synaptic vesicles this synaptic vesicles are fuse into the the synaptic vesicles are fuse into the the synaptic vesicles are fuse into the pre synaptic membrane this pre synaptic membrane releases to the acetylcholine neurotransmitters this acetylcholine neurotransmitters it is bind with acetylcholine receptors whenever the acetylcholine receptors are bind with this acetylcholine sir chemical sir activation of the sodium channel sir whenever the sodium channel sir activated it is a, the anterior muscle is depolarized it is the anterior muscle is depolarized action potential is generated whenever the this anterior muscle fibers are action potential is generated this this anterior muscle is consist of sarcoplasmic reticulum the sarcoplasmic reticulum what is the function of the sarcoplasmic reticulum it is a release of the calcium ions calcium ions during the muscle contraction it is nothing but sarcoplasmic reticulum it is a call it is a storage of the calcium ions this it is the action potential then enter pass into the anterior muscle fiber and also pass into the sarcoplasmic reticulum this sarcoplasmic reticulum sir receive signal from the this neurotransmitters it is also activation of the calcium channels whenever the calcium channels are activated the calcium concentration calcium concentration increase in the sarcoplasma increase in the 
sarcoplasm calcium ion concentration increase in the sarcoplasm remember the sarcoplasm the sarcoplasm it is consists of the the sarcoplasm it is consists of the actin and myosin filaments actin and myosin filament it is consists of actin and myosin filaments actin and myosin filament the sarcoplasma it is a sarcoplasma can stop actin and myosin filaments when are the actin and myosin filaments sir they more so called calcium concentration calcium concentration increase in the cytoplasma sarcoplasma of the muscle cell actin proteins you know actin proteins it is nothing but tropomyosin this troponin tropomyosin troponin calcium and calcium increase in the sarcoplasma this calcium ions bind with troponin c whenever the troponin c it is bind the entire complex move forward whenever the entire complex is move forward whenever the entire complex is move forward whenever the entire complex is move forward the active site of the actin is exposed whenever the active site of actin is exposed the actin bind with the myosin it is the formation of the cross bridge formation cross bridge formation see here the what is the first step of the what is the first step of the muscle contraction the central nervous system center it is the, the muscle contraction is initiated by the central nervous system the central nervous system send the message to the motor neurons the motor neurons they will send message to the muscle the, the entire muscle fiber or muscle cell this entire motor neuron the end of the motor neuron it is can stop synaptic lobe or axon terminal this synaptic lobes are filled with filled with synaptic vesicles this synaptic vesicles are filled with neurotransmitters this synaptic vesicles this synaptic vesicles consist of consist of calcium channels whenever the calcium channels receive neural signals this calcium channels are open whenever the calcium channels are open the calcium ions are move into the their activation the movement of the, the synaptic vesicles the synaptic vesicles are rupture the synaptic vesicles are whenever the rupture through the three synaptic membrane they relates to the they relates to the acetylcholine chemicals this acetylcholine chemicals are reaches into the reaches into the synaptic cleft this synaptic cleft this synaptic cleft is consist of neurotransmitter this neurotransmitter bind with the prosynaptic membrane is consist of acetylcholine receptors this acetylcholine receptors are bind with acetylcholine chemicals it is activation of the sodium channels one of the activation sodium channels the outside the, the sodium entering the inside the entire muscle fiber is depolarized or action potential generated whenever the entire muscle is generated the sarcoplasm that is there also they will generate action potential the product the calcium channels are open whenever the calcium channels are open the calcium ions are move into the cytoplasm this calcium ion concentration is increases whenever the calcium ion concentration increases the active site of the the actin is consist of troponin pigment the troponin c bind with the troponin c again the, it is whenever they bind the tropomyosin troponin complex move forward whenever they move forward the active site of the actin is exposed the active site of the actin is bind with the myosin to formation of the cross bridge formation during the muscle contraction during the muscle contraction it is a diagrammatic representation of the muscle contraction during the muscle contraction the actin filaments slide over the myosin the actin filaments more overlapping of the myosin more overlapping of the myosin it is the the diagrammatic representation of the mechanism of the muscle contraction mechanism of the muscle contraction mechanism of the muscle contraction it is a representation of the diagrammatic representation how they will represented diagrammatic representation how they will they will represent the diagrammatic representation see here the diagrammatic representation again once a representation the diagrammatic representation what is the mechanism of muscle contraction representation diagrammatic representation the first one central nervous system what is it na central nervous system the, the mechanism of muscle contraction is initiated by the central nervous system 
the mechanism in central nervous system the central nervous system send the message to the motor neurons 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 what is the function of the motor neurons they will send the message to the central nervous system to sensory organ here what is the sensory organ here muscle what is the sensory organ muscle what is the sensory organ muscle what is the sensory organ muscle is going to stop is going to stop sensory organs the sensory organs what is sensory organs present in the motor neurons okay is going to stop synaptic no what is nothing but is nothing but dendrites dendrites you know no? dendrites dendrites axon 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 the central nervous system send the message to the motor neuron is nothing but motor neuron motor neuron is nothing but axon terminal axon terminal this axon terminal it is also known as a synaptic knob synaptic knob this synaptic knob is consist of synaptic vesicles synaptic vesicles synaptic vesicles this synaptic vesicles sir this synaptic vesicles sir filled with them. 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 synaptic vesicles sir filled with them. nothing but this neuro synaptic vesicles are filled with the neurotransmitters neurotransmitters this neurotransmitters are nothing but acetyl choline acetyl choline acetyl choline this entire is attached to the muscle is attached to the contact with the muscle contact with the muscle fiber is nothing but muscle cell or muscle fiber muscle cell or muscle fiber is nothing but muscle fiber or muscle cell is nothing but neuromuscular junction neuromuscular junction the central nervous system send the message to the motor neurons the motor neurons send the message to the muscle cell or muscle fiber whenever the central nervous system send the message to the motor neuron the motor neuron they will send message to the axon terminal or synaptic knob this synaptic knob is consist of the calcium channels what are channels calcium channels what are channels name calcium channels calcium channels sir activated when the calcium channels are activated the more calcium ions calcium ions fuse into the calcium ions here calcium ions fuse into the synaptic vesicles the synaptic vesicles sir the synaptic vesicles sir the synaptic vesicles are fuse calcium ions calcium ions the calcium ions fuse into the it can stop calcium channels calcium channels the calcium channels this calcium ion channels sir it is entering to the inside the synaptic knobs this calcium channels sir fuse into the fuse into the synaptic vesicles this synaptic vesicles diffuse into the diffuse into the diffuse into the it is nothing but pre Synaptic 
presynaptic membrane presynaptic membrane it is nothing but acetyl choline acetyl choline it is a post synaptic membrane you know post synaptic membrane post synaptic membrane post synaptic membrane is post synaptic membrane it is nothing but neuromuscular junction post synaptic membrane post synaptic membrane this can stop acetyl choline receptors acetyl choline receptors acetyl choline receptor whenever they, they diffuse into the synaptic membrane they releases to the acetyl choline this acetyl choline sir reaches into the synaptic cleft synaptic cleft it is a place of the synaptic cleft this acetyl choline chemicals acetyl choline chemicals are bind with acetyl choline chemicals are bind with acetyl choline chemicals are acetyl choline chemical this acetyl choline chemicals are bind with acetyl choline chemical receptor this receptor and chemicals are responsible for the is responsible for the sodium channels are open is responsible for the sodium ions to move into the inside the potassium ions move into the outside it is nothing but depolarization the entire muscle is depolarized entire muscle is generated action potential whenever the action potential generated whenever the action potential generated the sarcoplasmic this signals are travel into the sarcoplasmic reticulum the signals are generated into the sarcoplasmic reticulum this sarcoplasmic reticulum can stop calcium channels the sarcoplasmic reticulum can stop calcium channels the calcium ion concentration the more the calcium channels are open whenever the calcium channels are open the calcium concentration increase in the sarcoplasma increase in the sarcoplasma whenever the calcium channels are activated the calcium ions move into the sarcoplasma the calcium concentration increase in the increase in the sarcoplasma this sarcoplasma can stop this sarcoplasma can stop the sarcoplasma can stop thick filaments and thin filaments the sarcoplasma can stop thick filaments and thin filaments the sarcoplasma this can stop thick filaments and thin filaments thick filaments and thin filaments the cytoplasma of the sarcoplasma can stop myofilaments myofilament means it is a actin filament right no actin filament this actin filament if you observe the actin filaments actin filaments this actin filament actin filament this actin filament this can stop tropomyosin tropomyosin and troponin you know troponin this troponin c bind with the calcium ions troponin c bind with calcium ions the tropomyosin troponin complex move forward move forward whenever they move forward the active site of the actin is bind with the myosin whenever the active site of the actin is bind with myosin it is a cross bridge formation this cross bridge formation they require energy this energy is provided by the the head of the myosin head it is consists of two sites one is the active site what is one is the actin binding site the second one is the myosin the second site is the atp binding site this atp participate in the hydrolysis process the atp is convert into the adp plus pi plus energy this energy required for the two process one is the power stroke one is the one is required for the rotation of the myosin head and also one is the cross bridge forming the interaction between the actin and myosin it is known as a cross bridge formation it is known as a cross bridge formation the central nervous system once again i will explain the central nervous system it is a big mechanism of motor control explained by the diagram representation the central nervous system send message to the motor neurons the motor neurons they receive signal from the central nervous system they will send into the axon terminal this axon terminal is can stop synaptic vesicles this synaptic vesicles are filled with 
neurotransmitter this neurotransmitter it is consist of synaptic vesicles if you observe the axon terminal the axon terminal is consist of calcium channels this calcium channels are whenever they receive signals from the neurons it is activation this calcium ions are enter into the inside the synaptic the synaptic lobes this calcium ions are it is attached it is attached to contact with the synaptic vesicles whenever the calcium ions comes in contact with the synaptic vesicles it will diffuse into the presynaptic membrane they releases to the they releases to the neurotransmitter like acetylcholines into the synaptic plug and if you observe the post synaptic membrane it is consist of acetylcholine receptors this acetylcholine receptors bind with the acetylcholine chemicals this chemicals are activation of the sodium channels when the sodium channels are activated so the sodium ions move into the outside to the inside potassium move into the inside to the outside they generate depolarization depolarization means the ions are exchanged when the ions are exchanged they generate action potential when the action potential generate they they, they transfer into the entire muscle cell or muscle fiber they will generate to the the action potential enter into the the sarcoplasmic reticulum the sarcoplasmic reticulum activation of the calcium channels are open when the calcium channels are open it is released to the more number of the calcium ions into the cytoplasma this calcium ions are bind with the troponin c troponin c proteins when the troponin c bind with troponin c this tropomyosin troponin complex move forward the active site of the actin is it is exposed when the active site of the actin is exposed actin myosin binding the interaction between the actin and myosin it is nothing but cross which formation and the cross which formation it is the actin filament it is a myosin filament myosin at it is attached to the actin filament again they move forward again the actin myosin head is bind with the uh, actin filament again they move forward again the actin is myosin is head is bind with the actin filament again they move forward it is a more overlapping of the actin and myosin more overlapping of the actin and myosin it is a diagrammatic representation of the mechanism of the muscle contraction mechanism of the muscle contraction it is a diagrammatic representation of the mechanism of the muscle contraction it is a mechanism of the diagrammatic representation of the mechanism of the muscle contraction it is a diagrammatic representation of the mechanism of muscle contraction it is a diagrammatic representation of the mechanism of muscle contraction mechanism of muscle contraction mechanism of muscle contraction mechanism of the muscle